Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name's Thomas if you're brand new and I make style and hair related videos every single week. So if that's your kind of thing, make sure you hit the subscribe button and remember to give this video a like if you really enjoy it today, okay? So welcome to episode four, I think it's number four, <laughs> of my Man Bun monthly series. I am hosting a Man Bun series here on this channel, particularly because I have a Man Bun and the idea of this whole series is to pretty much just bring Man Bun inspo to ensure that your Man Bun is the best it can be. So. Yeah, if you have got a man bun, you're in the right place. <laughs> Today we're talking about a question that I get asked so frequently. It's like unbelievably frequent and I can't believe I've never answered the question before, but it's how long does your hair need to be in order to have a man bun? To me, when I thought about it, I was like, I actually don't know. <laughs> but then I kind of came up with my own little idea, which I'm going to be sharing with you today, of uh, how you can actually figure that out. First, before I get into any of that, I've also been getting another question asked a lot, which is, am I going to be doing any more fashion videos? I've actually just bought the shirt, what do you think? <laughs> in terms of fashion, I haven't been able to devote a lot of my time to making fashion content lately, but I have been posting a lot on my blog. Have any of you guys been to check out my blog lately? Because I've just been doing a heap more content on there and I just did a post about a cool pair of shoes that I've picked up from Eve and Kane. Their shtick is to create a really beautiful luxurious product that's actually affordable. And now I don't know if you guys can relate to this but I really love having pretty things. I love having beautiful shirts like this. I love having beautiful shoes and I also like it to be affordable because I don't always have excess amounts of money to go and spend on stuff. So the fact that there's brands out there actually making products that are still really beautiful to look at, they're comfortable, good quality, quality and still selling it at an affordable price. They're the kind of brands that I like. All of the, the material that they're made of is genuine suede, genuine leather, and plus the undersole of it, like the little rubber pieces that you can see, they're actually made of recyclable rubber, which means the company's doing its best to remain sustainable. And brands like this are stuff that I really love to pick up and document because to see a brand like putting effort in like this is something that's really rare. And that is definitely something I jump on. And not to mention they are affordable as well. So that blog post will explain all about it and it'll take you to the Even Kane website if you're keen to check them out. But without further ado, I think we should get back to talking about man buns. What do you say? How long does your hair need to be to get a man bun? Question on everyone's lips. The first thing you need to take into account is how big your head is and also how you want to wear your bun, okay? So how big your head is, everyone has a different head size, right? So the length of hair that it's gonna take to get it back into the bun is gonna be different depending on each person's head size. So if you've got a big head, you know you're probably gonna to have to grow a little bit more hair. If you've got a smaller head, it's probably gonna be a little bit quicker, right? Pretty straightforward. But the next part is like, well, where do you wanna wear your bun? Do you wanna wear it really high? Do you wanna wear it really low? Do you wanna wear it in the middle? Uh, because that's gonna give you the best indication of how much hair you need to grow. The way you can tell with how much you actually need to get before you can actually put it in a bun. Hang on, I wanted to do this real dramatic. I just didn't even see it. So a long flexible tape measure like this will be the best thing to give you an indication of how long your hair needs to be, particularly because you can put it at your jagged hairline, right? And you can feed it back to wherever you want your bun to go. So for example, like the, uh, if you want a bun like what I've got right now, I'll put that on my hairline. This is just an example of what I would do. And I would feed it back to where I thought I wanted the bun, which is pretty much at the very top of my crown. I'll have a look at that length. So this length that it's producing for me is 7.4 7 inches, right? Now, that's to the base of the bun. Obviously, if you're gonna be putting your hair into a bun, you're gonna need more than what it takes to be at the base of the bun because it actually needs to go through a hair tie and stuff. So I would actually add maybe another inch and a half on that. So another inch and a half on that would take me to about nine inches, right? So if I wanted a man bun, like the one I've got right now, I've got to, I know I've gotta grow my front hair to about nine and a half inches to reach the back. You can also do it from your nape, so the very, very bottom of your hair, and bring it up to where you thought you would want the bun, and see how long you've got to grow the under hair. So this one is actually a little bit shorter, so it's saying that I only need about six and a half inches to the base of the bun in order to get a man bun. So I know that this would have to be nine and a half, this would have to be six and a half plus another inch and a half, which would be eight. So I can kind of do my calculations that way, and you can also do it for the side as well. So like you can do it for the side, how long that's gonna take. And then you look at your number and add an inch and a half and you'll get all the dimensions that you're gonna need. But where you measure it to is dependent on where you wanna wear the bun. So if you wanna wear it like a normal man bun, you'd measure it to like the bottom of your crown 
If you wanted a lower man bun, you'd measure it to the bottom of your nape. If I was only going to wear a lowered man bun all the time, I would have to make my measurement from my crooked hairline all the way to the back of my nape, right? Where I was planning to measure the bun and then add an inch and a half on it, right? So in this case, if I always wanted to wear a lowered man bun, I'd need roughly about 12 inches of hair in the front here. Does that make sense? So yeah, it's all dependent on what type of bun you want. If you want a high bun, you're going to need a shorter front but a longer back. If you want a low bun, you're going to need a longer front with a shorter back. If you, I would actually recommend if you're growing to a man bun, just to get it into a bun, go for like the mid, the mid length man bun, just so you know that you've got to grow an even amount from the back to the front and the sides. And then you kind of just know from there. But I would invest in a tape measure like this. This is an Isogenics one. My dad actually, when Isogenics came out, he was like, okay, I'll give it a go. And that's how I have this. But I'll leave a link to a cheap as Amazon measurable tape measure like this so you can go and check out your hair length of what you need for your man bun. But essentially that's what I would do. You might already have one of these lying around your house. Just get your mom or your sister or you can do it yourself to measure where you want the bun to sit, then add an inch and a half and kaboom. You got exactly how much hair that you need for your man bun. And guys, that's as easy and simple as it needs to be. I hope that was really clear for me to explain. Like, I kind of just came up with the concept last week and I was like, this could actually really help people. So if you've ever wondered how long your man bun needs to be, that is the best indication and way to do it, okay? Uh, I really hope you're enjoying these man bun monthly series. I'm enjoying making them. Talking man bun is actually one of the easiest things for me to do because I've had this hairstyle for so long. And I also want to encourage any of you that aren't part of the Facebook group yet to go and do that because it's a lot of fun in there. There's so many people posting really cool stuff. We're all talking about products that we're using. We're all talking hair length and it's just a really good time. So there's going to be a link in the description box for you and that is all I have. <laughs> Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you are enjoying these Man Bun Monthly series because I'm going to be doing one of these every single month and I want you here, okay? Have a lovely week and I'll see you next month for my next Man Bun Monthly check-in, okay? Catch you later. Bye.